What's going on everybody? Uh, just a second video here in this little mini series about how to use AudAlerts. Uh, there's a few new users um, and I guess if you've been with AudAlerts all the way through it's everything has come at a nice steady pace but if you're just joining now there might be data overload uh, for some of you and that's understandable. Um, so in this video I'm going to walk you through the fixture component um, and how to navigate, how to check out different stats. So we'll take this Everton game as an example. We'll leave all this for now. This is the alert creation section. So you've got your basic alerts, you've got your odds. So if you want to set an alert on any of these odds, you just click on the odds and then set your desired outcome, uh, desired odds. So I could just say evens, set the alert and that's set. Um, but we're gonna be looking at stats for this video. Now it'll take a second for the stats to load. And this is the first of the pages. We've got uh, general, we've got goals, we've got stats by half, we've got corners, cards, trends, tables, and results. And there's a few videos on the individual pages. I think there's a video on trends and there's a video on, on the tables as well. So when you first load a fixture, before I get into the stats, it's important to know where, <clears throat> excuse me, where and how you can actually change the data. So this is the, the main thing that, that people have, um, I don't think, grasped, that you can click these and change the stats. So by default, it's going to show me Everton's home form against Wol Wolverhampton's away form. And a few people have got in touch, not many, but it, it happens, saying the stats aren't right. Um, you know, I'm looking at the, the results and the last, let's say they're looking at the last five, Everton have won in the last five games but they're looking somewhere else at the overall form. Because when you go into the last five and you've got home toggled, it's actually looking at the last five home games. So in the last five home games, Everton haven't won. And actually that's surprising to me that they are on such a bad run of form. One win at home since um, since Jan this year. And that win came against Southampton in, in a time where Southampton were dropping like a stone themselves. So... Um, away from home, it's not much better, is it, for, for Wolves? But that's that's just a quick thing I wanted to mention first because a, a few people have been confused by it. So these toggles change um, the location of, of the form, so whether you're looking at overall form, the away form or the home form. And then down here you can change to the last 10 games. And you see here it says play 10. If you go to the home form, it still says play 10, but it's looking at a different set of games. It's looking at the last 10 home games for Everton. So it's um, it's quite powerful for you to be able to look at that. And this, at the same time, if you navigate around here, these are constant. They're still here. And um, the last five, last six, you can just change it at any time. It's really quick. It's really easy to just um, test out a theory because if you, you, you should always be digging deeper into these stats. And this allows you to do that really quickly. Um, if you're looking at all fixtures and you just think, well, what about in the last five? Okay. What about the last six? All right, last 10. Um, so you can see that Everton score marginally more goals in the last five games um, than the last 10 games, for example. The timings as well, goal timings. Uh, this is a, a pro feature. You can see where the spikes are throughout the game. Uh, it's quite good if, you, if you're watching this game and let's say we're in the 21st minute now or we're in the second half. You can see that there's a spike towards the end of the game for both teams. You can toggle this to show the percentages. Um, so 26% of all the second half goals for Wolves have come in this gap, which is the last five minutes. Uh, you can change this to totals to see that that is 12 goals that are being considered for that space. Um, you can toggle for... Goals for, goals against, quite similar trends to be honest, but again this is um, really good to look at during the game. Same with corners, we've got corner timings, again for or against, just really nice and easy and quick to uh, to navigate through. And the data is the same, it's the same format on all the pages so that you you don't feel lost, you don't feel like you, try, you have to learn about a whole new way to read the stats, um, it's all consistent. Uh, and again, you can just change and toggle everything. Um, <clears throat> the only the only part that's different is the trends section, which is new. 
Uh, it's a bit more visual because that's sort of what you, you need for this section. You need to be able to visualize how many um, of something they have had and, and what the general trend is. So if you can actually physically see it across this axis. Um, as I say, there is a video on the trends section, uh, which you can check out. It also mentions the, um, the compare section, which is uh, similar to the, the chart you've just seen on the corner and goal timings. So do check that out. Tables, just what it says on the tin really, you can see the, the league table and you can also look at many different stats for those teams. So I usually use this after checking out the stats. So I'll check out all of these corner stats or something and I'll think, okay, that's, that's pretty good. Um, but where do they rank in terms of everybody else? So we can look for the corners and you just just gives you more ammo. The the more angles you can get for a for a bet, and the more confidence you can gain on a certain um, theory or or outcome that you think might happen, the better you're going to be. Um, win or lose, by the way. But if, if you lose, you know that you researched well and um, you were unlucky. You know whatever you you thought was going to happen uh, should have happened because you. You know, the data was there. It's all there. Um, so that's the fixture component. Um, there's not much else to it. You can see uh, referee stats. Might as well mention that whilst we're here. And again, it's it's easy. It's, it's all here for you. You can view the fixtures from the referee. You can view the, the card stats. These are all free for everybody. Um, the pro features are the timings. And that's it, I think, in terms of um, fixture stats and stats in general. I've always thought... The, you know, the basic data is there everywhere. So if I made it pro, if I locked it away, if I locked away certain leagues, you would just go elsewhere to find it. Um, or you might pay to unlock it, which is the case on some other sites. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just think the data should be free, especially league tables and stuff. Um, but if you if you wanted to, to look at the goal timings or trends or create filters that, that find games for specific stats, then that is a pro feature. Um, Right, if you have any uh, more questions or you're still confused, just um, feel free to get in touch on Twitter.